why I'm late. I was just a therapist. <laughs> I was telling my therapist, look, I just like douchebags, okay? Who would let me go? Let's keep telling him, I just like douchebags. Okay, um, I do have a bit of an American accent, and that's just from when I was learning English in Chicago when I was really young. Um, but yeah, even though I like douchebags, I've been seeing a lot of men. Um, there was one guy that I met recently, he's from Northern Europe. When he told me where he was from, I was like, no way! No way. <laughs> um, yeah, but, uh, <laughs> no way. I actually had this weird fear that uh, when I would grow up, I would be an alcoholic dad. But I think that just really meant that I would hang out at bars and crack dad jokes. <laughs> oh man, I'm such a freaking addict. I mean, like, no matter how much I drink, it's never enough. I'm always wanting more. It keeps making me go to the bathroom because of all the drinking I do, and it, it just doesn't help my mood, you know? Like, no matter what, my mood just doesn't get better. <sighs> freaking addicted to water. Is it just me or is it miserable in here? <laughs> I know when I'm pretty depressed, it's when I start listening to Coldplay. Because that's just something that I don't want anyone to know. It puts me into a really pathetic, no one look at me mood when I'm listening to Coldplay. But enough of that depressing stuff. Let's, let's bring in some Christmas cheer. I want to talk about Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer. In the jingle, they said that um, they all made fun of his nose, and all the other reindeer didn't let him play any reindeer games. I mean, isn't that sad? Isn't that just like a demonstration of how cold and miserable the world is? <laughs> yeah, uh, I met up with a friend before I, I came and did this, um, and uh, had a couple of drinks at Bright Brew, and I mean, People would think that I was a prostitute, okay? I mean, I can't believe that. These days, I get so freaking tired and lazy, I just can't be fucked. <laughs> but, you know, uh, not wanting to have sex is something you've got to be a little bit tight-lipped about, you know? Like, you don't really want to be throwing it out there, I don't want to have sex, just keep it tight. Um, I've noticed that uh, some of the women that you meet on Hinge, a lot of them, I'm, do you guys, yeah, you might use Hinge. If you match with women on Hinge, a lot of them are talking about how they really love fresh, clean bed sheets. I'm just thinking, what are these women doing? They're just lying in bed swiping on the, on the apps? Probably. <laughs> yeah, well, um, I think after this I'm going to have a cigarette. There's something that I really like about um, Smoking with other smokers, it's like you're really just indulging in your own like self-hatred. It's like, yeah, we don't care, we don't have to act together. <laughs> but yeah, at the same time, when I'm out there, I'm just like, is this me or is it miserable in here? 